Hello, thanks for checking out my video. Today we'll be working on our fine motor skills with our crayons or writing utensil, the clothes pins, and the stickers as we do a little color matching activity. And as we work on our fine motor skills, we'll be working on some visual motor skills as we scan across our visual field and we'll be working on some bilateral coordination skills as we use our dominant hand and our non-dominant hand to complete the activity. So the first part of this activity will include our writing utensils or paint. If you have paint, you can use that. And these paper bowls. So I can get my clothespins and my stickers off to the side so we don't conflict with our visual field. And what we're going to end up doing is taking apart these four plates here, and they'll be separate, or four bowls, rather. And we are going to color the center part one of these four different colors that will match the colors on our stickers. So each one of these will get its own color. Uh, this one will be red, this one will be yellow. This one will be blue and this one will be green. So as we're writing, or excuse me, as we're coloring our bowls, it's really important that we have a good grip on our crayons or writing utensil. The smaller the writing utensil, the more likely it is that we'll use some fine motor skills or some radial precision as we color. And we also want to make sure that we're using our non-dominant hand to stabilize the bowl. So we'll just go ahead and maybe clear this out a little bit. And we'll just do one at a time. And I'll start with the, um, the inside. And I think that might be just about all I need to color for, for the purposes of today. So I'm going to go ahead and color these bowls. Now that I'm done coloring the inside of my paper bowls, I can put them off to the side because I won't need them again for just a little bit. And I will get my clothes pins and I should have 24 of these. So I have four bowls and that would mean I need six of each color. So I'm going to either use the paint if I had paint or I will continue using my crayons and I'm going to color six of these the same color so that we can go ahead and match them to the bowl later. So the first six are going to be red and then I'll do blue, green, and yellow. And as we're doing this, we're going to continue to use our fine motor skills to manipulate the clothespin. And we're also going to use our fine motor skills as we use our writing utensil. And most importantly, I think for this portion is our bilateral coordination skills that we'll need to stabilize our clothespin so that we can color it. So I'm gonna go ahead and color six clothespins, each one of these colors here so that we can go ahead and match them. Now that I've put in all that work to color my clothespins, I can push them off to the side or put them in a bag or mix them all up, do something. We're gonna come back to that a little bit later. Just gonna clean up my area real quick. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our bowls back in the picture here. And we're going to use our stickers and we'll be getting a lot of good fine motor practice here, picking these stickers off the sheet. We're also gonna be using our non-dominant hand 
to hold the paper and maybe even manipulate it a little bit to get the sticker off. And as we do that, we will be working on some basic color matching. We're gonna match the color of the sticker to the bowl. And we're going to be using our pincer grasp with the stickers. And as we place the stickers on the bowl, we're gonna have to kind of motor plan around here a little bit, grab our bowl, maybe turn it to the side or however it helps us. And we'll be using our stickers with some shifting to get the sticker off. And we're going to put them around the edge of the bowl here, just, just along the edge. So I need six stickers all the way around the corresponding color bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this red one here. And after I do that, I will complete the rest of my project. Maybe I'll put this one right, right over there. And this one can go right there. And then I will put the rest of the stickers on my bowl and I'm gonna make sure that they're all sitting down very nice. And then I can go ahead and complete the rest of the colors. So once I have them on the bowl, I wanna make sure that I'm pinching them all the way down so they're flat. This is a good chance for us to work on a lateral pinch. So we're working on our lateral pinch or maybe you wanna use your pincer grasp. That's okay too. I think the lateral pinch works a little better for me with this activity. Now that I have them all placed along the edge of my bowl, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these colors. Now that I have the stickers on the bowl, I'm ready to use my clothes pins to start matching. And how we arrange our bowls and our clothes pins will ultimately kind of dictate what visual motor skills we will be working on or visual perception skills we'll be working on. So it's important to be mindful of that as we arrange this next portion of the activity. So for me, I think what I'd like to do is to work on some scanning across the horizontal visual field. So I'm just gonna leave them in a line just like that all the way across my visual field so that I have to scan from the left side all the way to the right side each time I pull a clothespin. So we're gonna have a pile of clothespins either maybe up here vertically, so we have to continue to work on our vertical pursuits as well, or you can have them in a paper bag or you can give it to your student one at a time. That would be okay. But we're gonna make sure that we we work on our uh, visual motor skills during this component because we've we've done so much work with our fine motor skills and we're going to continue to do work with our fine motor skills um, and also our bilateral coordination but this is just another opportunity for us to work on a different skill set that that will help our student so just be mindful of that and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave my pile of clothes pins at the top portion of my visual field as I just talked about. And they don't have to be in any particular order. And then I'm going to just take one clothespin at a time and I'm going to match it to the color bowl. And then I'm gonna place it on the sticker. So when we get all these clothespins on here, it might get a little hectic. So maybe I'll stagger them just a little bit so that I still get to work on my horizontal pursuits, but I have maybe a little bit more room for the clothes pins to kind of hang out. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that portion now. It's really important that we work on not only our fine motor skills with a pincer grasp or maybe a, a lateral pinch, that would be okay, but we're really, we're really looking for some manipulation of the bowl some good bilateral coordination to turn turn the bowl around as we need it as we need to and we're really hoping just to use a strength of ours which is our ability to match colors 
we're using this skill and strength to be successful with our activity. So we're really, really just kind of taking a, an easy skill here that, that we probably know how to do. And we're making a situation where we're using that strength to develop other skills that we're looking to work on. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this portion now. So that's the activity for today. It's very simple, very straightforward. We're just really working on a lot of kind of fundamental fine motor skills that are used often as we write or do any other kind of classroom activity. We're really working on developing a little radial precision or at least having a nice tripod grasp with our writing instrument. We're working on our bilateral coordination by stabilizing and manipulating our bowls. Uh, we've been working on our fine motor skills with these clothespins, just building a little opposition between the thumb and the index finger with a pincer grasp, getting a little grip and pinch strength developed. And as we placed our clothespins onto our sticker, we're really working on some great uh, visual perception skills and a lot of accuracy with the placement. So that's really, we're being accurate and we're developing a lot of precision with our, with our activity here. So I hope you found this activity useful and you've developed some really great skills. Please let me know if you have any questions on how to implement these strategies with your students.